I have a very simple rule regarding knowledge and action and I devised this rule since I wasted so much time in my life uh, just wasting time by learning and so many people entrepreneurs and self-development guys you know they pride themselves so much on on learning I learned so much I do I learn five hours a day I do this uh, six hours a day I did this many courses but uh, the golden rule of learning in any subject it doesn't matter if it's uh, sport or business or meditation or whatever the golden rule is that for every hour that you study you need at least two hours of action to complement it and the reason for that is that if you don't have action that um, surrounds your goals and your knowledge you're not going to have any way to connect the dots so imagine all the knowledge you get is like dots like 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 hundreds and thousands of dots of knowledge that you just accumulate but when you take action when you get reference experiences like oh when i did this this happened when i did that that happened results <laughs> that's the word uh, then you start connecting the dots oh now now you can see the system now the system makes more and more sense to you and that uh, only dots that you connected are actually effective you could have uh, the strongest battery in the world but if it's not connected to something it's pointless uh, it doesn't matter uh, if you have uh, how much fuel you have or how big of an engine if it's not connected to something it's not going to generate any power for that thing so it's the same with knowledge you can have a ton of knowledge you can be well studied you know like all the Harvard guys and all the you know the people that study at academies and stuff like that but they have all this knowledge but there's no application for it you know when you study for an MBA you study for a couple of years but you don't actually run a business while studying it so it's all theory there's no nothing to back it up <laughs> so <clears throat> uh, when you don't take action when people don't take action and they learn a lot that's so destructive you begin to have these uh, thoughts and theories of the world like oh this is the way it should be and this is the way it should be and the knowledge give you this gives you this false sense of, of, of superiority and knowledge like oh I know so much so I'm I'm going to have probably an easy time and I'm just looking for the perfect formula and you just, dude, you just begin to lose your fucking mind and I'm saying this because it happened to me it happened to me so many times in the past and it was so brutal that I'll never let that let that happen again and the easiest uh, way to explain it is that when you're like a car and when the car is driving when it's in movement then it's very easy to pivot the car just you know just move the wheel a bit you change directions but when you're standing still you're like vroom, 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 and, and nothing happens so uh, for me people who just study theory all day long are basically kind of like that they're like they're sitting in a car that's standing still and they're basically turning the wheel like oh yeah I'm learning and they're making these weird car sounds like run, 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 but they're not actually moving and they're like run, run, and they're like oh new knowledge spin run, run. yes this direction run, run. and you look at them from the side and it's like bro what the fuck you you're not fucking moving like you're standing still that even that knowledge is going to be irrelevant soon <laughs> so so yeah, the guy who takes a bit of action, you know, makes a couple of cold calls every day just to get clients is actually more better than the guy who's just learning all the time. And I talk about this very in depth in my video called the three levels of success. Uh, basically, I explained that you have uh, the root level, you have the um, fundamentals and you have the nuances. So the, the root is like what creates the actual results that you can then use the fundamentals are the big percentages like you know improving by 30 percent 40 percent you know improving sales improving marketing creating a website learning and then the nuances are like the banners you know like uh, the banner should be blue or it should be dark red or something you know th things that make like five percent difference or three percent or one percent difference but but that matter once you get to the big levels like for example for an athlete so if you um, uh, uh, don't focus on the on the root level, uh, which is the action itself, only on fundamentals, 
I explain, you know, it's, it doesn't make any sense because what does it matter if you improve tw uh, knowledge from 20% effectiveness to 40% if you have zero action, you know, 20% of zero is four and 40% of zero is still zero. Even 500% of zero is still zero. <laughs> so yeah, you have to take action. You have to take fucking action. If you don't take action, uh, you're not going to see shit. Okay, so, and I know this sounds obvious, but I mean, if it's that obvious, how could I have uh, wasted so many months of my life uh, not doing it? Now, I'm not saying that all this knowledge uh, doesn't uh, help you eventually. It definitely does. Uh, when you learn a lot, uh, that knowledge is stored. Uh, one of the coolest things that I learned while reading and, and studying uh, psychology is that your brain retains information forever <laughs> pretty much uh, so you have all the data banks and you do learn uh, you do retain what you learned and once you have enough connections you'll remember it like you might you might have learned something two years ago you know while you weren't doing anything and then you might make a, a, a call or whatever it is you know that you do and suddenly you connect the dots you're like oh yeah and you connect them and you're like oh shit i learned this like two years ago or something uh so yeah that happens um but that's not an excuse to to just study all the time um that's just uh, that just means that once you start taking action you know it's not that bad if you wasted time um if you take enough action um so i hope this helps you uh wherever you are right now just start taking action and uh, usually you study a lot actually as a means of procrastination it's it's a very a very effective way of procrastinating because you feel like you're making progress even though you're not because again you're not focusing on root you're just focusing on fundamentals you're studying the map you're not actually driving it you know towards the destination um, so so yeah fake work work on the problem of not being able to take action work on the problem of procrastinating um, probably you, the problem is you have such a high um, expectation of yourself to take action like oh it needs to be this big and this much every day and learning more is even psyching you out even more so what I recommend best is to just uh, lower the bar as much as needed to sometimes ridiculous levels uh, make it as small as required as long as you start taking action it's good because uh, in a week or two the, the amount of action you're going to take is going to grow massively uh, once you get used to it. it so so don't be that idiot that is like oh you know I want to take massive action now but he can't you know it's like it's like the guy who wants to lift you know uh, 200 pounds but he can't even lift 150 right now uh, so if he just lifts 100, he can actually build himself up. But he, he's like, no, no, if I don't lift 200, I don't want to do it. So, so, so the guy who starts small is actually smarter because he um, is going to get to that 200 pounds. Okay, so the guy who doesn't take massive action and just starts small but actually starts uh, in a couple of weeks or a couple of months is going to be where you want to be while well, you just wasted time and bitched about it. So... Take that into account. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for watching. I love doing these videos. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you have any questions. Tell me how you might have wasted your time. And uh, I do coaching. So contact me and subscribe. Thank you.